Hey guys, my name is Jess. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so you know whenever I upload on Sundays, Wednesdays, and occasionally on Fridays. Today's video is going to be things to know before attending Texas Tech University. So if you didn't know, this past fall I was at a Texas Tech University and that's in Lubbock, Texas for those of you guys who don't know. But this video is basically just going to be about things that I learned my freshman year. So these are gonna be academic wise, um, social life wise, and then we're also gonna talk about like Lubbock City as a whole. Let's just go ahead and get right into this video. I'm gonna start off with the things that I learned like academic wise. <music> Okay, so to start off with, I... So to start this category off with, I just wanna make sure that everybody knows that you do not have to have super high ACT or SAT scores to get into tech. So, no fun. Okay, so for those of you guys who don't know, Texas Tech is a big 12 school. So it's a very big campus and a very big school. And I know that can be very intimidating for some people, but I personally never felt like I was just kind of lost in a sea of students. So there are a lot of people on campus, don't get me wrong, um, but there are a lot of different like clubs and activities that you can get involved in that make you feel less like a number and more like a person. Before we even get into the academics on campus, you do not have to have high ACT or SAT scores to get in. I think that I had a 10, 20 on my SAT and a 16 on my ACT, which is terrible. I don't think that my scores alone would have gotten me into like any college, honestly. I know at Tech, if you do not have like the requirements or like the recommended scores or grades that you can go into like a, another application process. So you'll send in your scores, You'll send in your high school transcript and then in addition to those, you can do three letters of recommendation and then write an essay over whatever prompts they have for that year. This is something I took advantage of because my scores were so low and I fully believe that is what got me into tech because I went above and beyond and didn't just turn in the bare minimum. I don't think that I would have gotten in without sending those in because my scores were super low. So as a freshman, you know, you're taking all of your core classes, all of your basics, you're getting those out of the way. Those classes are going to be massive. Um, I came from a super small school, so I wasn't ready to go into a class or a, or a lecture hall that had more kids in it than my graduating class. I think like my history class was like 250 students and I graduated with 139. But basically like your classes are gonna get big, your classes are going to be huge for probably your entire first year as a college student. And that's gonna be kind of the same anywhere you go. Also, if you are at all familiar with Texas Tech campus, it is, it's huge. So there were times where I had to walk a mile in between classes and those classes were like five minutes apart. So make sure before you sign up for classes, before you put your schedule together, try and calculate like how far each building is going to be. Because if you only have like five or 10 minutes to walk from one end of the campus to the other side of campus, like it's not going to work and you're going to be late. Another thing to do before signing up for classes, and this is just a universal college thing, make sure you check your professors out on Rate My Professor before you actually sign up for their class. If you don't know what Rate My Professor is, it's a website and you can go and basically check out all of the professors at any any college and they will rate them by level of difficulty and just overall. I would highly recommend checking that out before you sign up for any classes whatsoever because that can make the difference between wanting to go to a class and skipping a class. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is the social life or campus life. No secret that Texas Tech is a party school. I personally do not party. It is not my scene. I don't like all of the people. I don't like the alcohol. I don't like, I don't, I just don't do it. Um, so this actually was a drawback for me. I didn't want to be, you know, one of the only ones not experiencing exper I didn't want to be one of the only ones 
and kind of going along with like the parties um, on Thursday nights, it's technically college night for all of the bars and all of the clubs in Lubbock. So this is a night where college kids either get in at a discounted rate or like they get in free. I went to a club once and that was the worst experience of my life. Um, I ruined my shoes and my shirt and I will never go back. I don't really know how college night goes because I never went out on college night because it's a Thursday. Texas Tech is huge on their Greek life, so there are a ton of fraternities and a ton of different sororities that you can choose from. So if you're going to a university and Greek life is something that you want to get into, I definitely would recommend Texas Tech. I personally was not in a sorority, but I knew a ton of girls who were and they absolutely loved it. So another thing, Tech has just about any club that you could imagine. They have religion clubs, they have sports clubs, they have moviegoer clubs. Like, there is a whole array of clubs and stuff to join. So if you're interested in being part of any sort of organization, they probably have it. Another thing, Tech takes a lot of pride into their athletics. So whether this be football, baseball, basketball, cheerleading, palm squad, dance team, like, they take a lot of pride in the sports they have because they do so well. If you didn't know, their baseball team went to the College World Series two years ago. Their basketball team also is amazing. Their cheer team has won Daytona College Nationals multiple times. So on game days, especially on college football days, the entire city of Lubbock basically shuts down and everybody tailgates and everybody goes to games. Um, a lot of the college students you will see pre-gaming, which is basically where they go and get drunk before they go to a football game. Okay, so now moving on to like the city of Lubbock. Lubbock is a fairly, it's a fairly big city, but yet it still has that small town feel to it, which is what drew me to Lubbock because I'm from a really, really small town. And so going and living in a big city was kind of intimidating for me. But when I went to Lubbock, I realized that it is pretty big and there's a lot of people that live there, but it still has that really small town vibe. So something to note about Lubbock is that you will get all four seasons. So usually in Texas, you will only get two seasons and that's summer and maybe a little bit of winter, depending on where you live. But in Lubbock, you will get all four of them. So you'll get summer, fall, winter, and then spring. And in the summer, it'll get pretty hot, just like any other place in Texas. And then in the fall, it'll get kind of cooler. Um, it won't be cold, but it won't be hot. And then in the winter, It'll be pretty cold. It'll be super, super, super windy. And if you're lucky, you'll be able to see snow. We had one snow day this past January. And then after that, it snowed a couple times, but it wasn't nearly as bad as the first time. And then the spring is basically just summer temperatures, but with like the wind chill of fall. So it'll still be hot, but it'll be breezy and windy. So it won't feel as bad. Um, Lubbock is also known for their dust storms. Fortunately enough, I didn't have to deal with these. Sometimes it will literally rain mud. I don't really know how that happens, but I've heard it and I've seen pictures of it. I experienced my fair share of like dusty winds where you are just being pelted by dust, but I never experienced a haboob. I never experienced this muddy rain and I never experienced the tornadoes that are said to have happened in Lubbock. So, Lubbock weather is absolutely crazy and Lubbock drivers are also horrendous. Nobody knows how to drive up there and I think it's because everybody's a college student. Even though Lubbock is pretty small in size, they do have a lot of things to do. So they have this place called Adventure Park and that's basically like they have arcade games, they have a zip line, a ropes course, and then a go-kart track and I think mini golf. And then they have Altitude, which is a trampoline park. They have three or four movie theaters, a roller skating rink, a bowling alley, uh, a big mall. Although the mall is like, the mall is weird. Cause like part of it is occupied and like has really good stores. And then you get to like a certain part of the mall and it's just a ghost town. So yeah, there are a fair share of things to do in Lubbock. Okay, so that is all that I have written down about Texas Tech and Lubbock. If there are things that I missed or things that you guys have questions on, please comment them down below. I would love to read them, respond to them, and chit chat with you guys. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and then subscribe. It really does help and it really just brings a smile to my face. Um, 
Also, go check me out on Instagram because that's where all of my channel updates will go. And whenever I post a video, I advertise for it there. Okay, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of the week and just stay safe.